hey YouTube, just real quick, um, all done with the maintenance on these things, but I showed you earlier, I was dumb, got some fishing line caught in my props, so this can wind around the base of the shaft and cause damage to the seals behind there, so it's important not to leave it too long, so I'm going to show you real quick, it's pretty easy how to take these on and off, the props, and in case you're, you know, in the Bahamas and got it damaged, or you carry a spare prop, it's a pretty easy process, it's not rocket science, but just to show you here, we'll go ahead and record it. Okay, so first thing we do is we have this cotter pin right here. You can leave it in neutral. These nuts are supposed to be loose, and that's part of the reason in doing and taking this on and off to get the line out is also to grease the shafts up to the props. I mean, if these things stay on there forever, some of them get corroded on and you get end up having to beat them off and do all kinds of stuff. So uh, it's not it's not terrible to take them on and off, and it's a good maintenance practice occasionally. Now I only got 20 hours on this motor, so it's a little premature, but uh, you know, every 100 or 200 hours or something like that, it's not a bad idea to R&R &R your props to make sure everything stays straighten out that cotter pin right there. Then we'll pull, pull it out. I like to grab hold of the head with the cutting portion and just pry a little bit. It usually pulls it right through. A couple of tries, it comes right out, cotter pin out. Now I like to lay, have some place to lay this down to lay all my parts out in order so I know which way they go. I've got kind of a mess going on here. But, uh, so let's see if this prop is going to, now this is a 27 millimeter socket. I think it's like an inch and a sixteenth or maybe inch and an eighth. Uh, but I just so happen to have the metric version of it. So see it spins like that but if you hold this prop, just get down in here and give it a nice little whack came right off. Not a problem. Okay, so we'll pull the nut. This, I literally haven't taken this thing off, so you're seeing it for the first time as easy as it is. Okay, these don't, when you put these nuts on, you don't have to put them on crazy tight because the cotter pin keeps this nut from backing off and the splines do the work. So, I'm going to keep things in order as they come off. So this is actually, this is a separate little washer, but it's stuck on here. So we're not going to confuse it, but see this collar? It's got this little shoulder on the inside. That goes on the inside, holding the, the recess of the hub for the prop. So that's, you don't want to screw that up. So I'll set that over here. There are parts. So I got cotter pin nut, shoulder. That washer is a separate part. It'll probably come off when you do it. Just make sure you know which part which way it goes. And then the prop slides right off. Okay. We got some of the fishing line in there. Took it out. Set that down. Take this shoulder off. Now I'm not even gonna set that down because and see so that's the that's the seal that fishing line could get damaged on, but the fishing line was just inside between here and the prop hub, so we're good. I'm going to put that back on. Now it's important to grease this back up, so uh, make sure it stays plenty lubed up. So that, for one, as it goes back and forth, splines don't wear, but for two, it won't. It'll come off and it won't get corroded. And I'm doing the threads, you see where the nut goes. Same thing. Okay, got to take the prop. Make sure it's clean on the inside there. So that's where my the line was just around those webbing supports on the actual prop. Put it back on. Make sure it slides on nicely. Okay, remember shoulder side in. Goes in there. Put the nut on. Now the key in putting this nut on is to get it snug. Not crazy tight, but then you got to line up the hole with the castle nut shoulders so you can get the cotter pin in. Okay, so that's where it's pretty well bottomed out. Now I'm looking, so I'm about part way through, so I got to go about a quarter of a turn more to get that to line up. I'm not stressing on this super hard here. Okay, 
let's see, oh, real close, just a smidgen more. There we go. Okay, we're lined up. Cutter pin back in. It's a little bent on the end, so it needs a little persuasion. There we go. Now, you only need to bend one part of that cotter pin up, one leg. You don't need to bend to both. That just makes it more your life more difficult. It's the one that prop ain't going nowhere. 